Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shiny Gold X, episode number 21. I'm Circle Cat Zack, and in this episode, as promised, we are going to be taking on the Blackthorn City Gym. I have Skulls in front because he has the move Icy Wind, or she, pardon me, has the move Icy Wind, which is going to be really, really helpful against those pesky dragon types, and obviously this gym is full of them. So let's just go ahead and proceed in through these doors here and talk to the nerdy guy who always stands in front. Nah. Yo, champ in making, it's been a long journey, but we are almost done. Count on me. Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice type moves. And that they are. Uh, no winning trainers yet. That means Fabio and uh, Carlos haven't been here yet. So we have a couple trainers that we can battle here on the first floor. Let's just go ahead and battle them one by one. My chance of losing, not even 1%. Well, my other job on YouTube is working around percents that are way, way below 1%, so that doesn't mean much to me. Anyway, he's got a Dragonair, and I have an Icy Wind for him. He's going to go for the Dragon Rage. Let's speed this up a little bit. That does exactly 40 damage, so we are going to have to heal here, unfortunately. There we go. Now we can take another Dragon Wind. Or dragon, not, what am I saying? Dragon R Rage, but he didn't even go for that, so doesn't even matter. Skulls is gonna get a lot of experience from that, not quite gonna grow a level, but we do defeat that Ace Trainer. If we swing around here, there's another trainer we can battle. Let's go ahead and take him on. Your first battle against dragons? No, it's my second battle. Weren't you just watching? All you had to do was turn around, but no, you kept facing the other way. You didn't hear all the dragon raging and icy winding and stuff like that. Anyway, we have another dragon air to take on. We'll speed this up again. Looks like it's going to be the same junk. Up oh, or not. And we actually get the speed drop on it. Let's go ahead and stay in on the shell gun. Uh, we can hopefully take it out here. There we go. I love icy wind in that it gives you the speed drop on them occasionally. Let's go ahead and heal up here, just in case he decides to go for the Dragon Rage, which he did. Beautiful prediction on my part, if I do say so myself. And actually, we should be faster now, because I think I just got the drop. Uh, and actually, we weren't, but he just went for the agility. So, you should be disappointed, because you got your butt kicked. And Skulls is a beast. Let's pop in here real quick, and just speed right back to the gym. Do to do, do And our first two trainers that we've come up against have both been defeated by skulls. Let's go up this middle one here. Um, there's actually not too much we can do in the middle one. We can, however, push this boulder with our good friend Fungash. And the way we do this is we move it over here, come back up, we move it up like this. Then we come over this way, if I can maneuver it correctly. Push it up, 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 come over here, push it over, come over back this way, push it up, and then over, and it has fallen down, and now we can walk across it. And actually, they didn't do jack, did only squat. So, whatever, you don't have to push that one, but that at least shows you how the uh, puzzles work. We have um, another lady here. We go through rigorous training under Claire. I can't afford to lose. Uh, I think you can. Well, depends on how much money you want to give me. And how much money you have. Cool trainer Fran. Fran, for some reason, doesn't really bring about the name cool for me, but okay. Uh, this thing is, I believe, Water Dragon. Um, let's see if we can take it out with Skulls. I don't know if we'll be able to, actually. Uh, let's go for the Shadow Ball. Stab Shadow Ball doesn't do much. I do believe we got the some kind of drop, though. And that will take it out. Skulls grows a level, and Cool Trainer Fran is no more. Now, we do need Rock Smash to uh, move this thing here. So, I'm actually going to be right back. I'm going to go get a Pokemon from my PC who can learn Rock Smash, because I don't want to teach it to anybody. Because, look, if we do that, we don't know it. And I will smash it, and then I will be back here and show you guys... 
that I can now push a boulder into that little slot on the right. So I will be right back. So it was actually even worse than I thought. I had never even picked up the TM for or the, the HM, pardon me, for Rock Smash, and I had to go back to a little area between where we caught Sid Widow and Violet City. There was a man there who, after we defeat or catch Sid Widow, we can get the HM for Rock Smash. So I picked that up, taught it to, in fact, Sid Widow, and now we can break it. There we go, and it doesn't even break; it just kind of disappears. And for this one, we want to do it like this. We want to put Fungash to work. Now we can go over here. How do I want to do this? I do believe I want to do it like this. Go up and push it like this, all the way up to that dragon head, and then push it over, and then come down here, push it all the way up as far as you can, and then all the way over. And now it is dropped, and if we go down there, I'll show you in a second. I'm actually going to go to pause the Sita Widow and meet you guys downstairs and we can see where that boulder landed. As it turns out if you leave the gym all of your progress gets erased and you have to start over again. Uh, this gym, as far as uh, this gym's puzzle goes, so I have deposited big pecs for the purpose of this gym and kept Sita Widow around, but with those two boulders put there, uh, we can now actually cross. It may not look like it, but we can cross over like this. See, we can hop over. We actually need one more boulder, it seems, but we can hop across like that. And if we go past here, there's another set of stairs that we can go up, and we have another boulder to push. Now, we're going to be pushing it over here. Uh, I know that's not very specific, but I'll show you where I mean. If we go over like this, keep pushing it all the way over. And then we go down, like that, hmm, I think I want to do it like this, we can push it like this, is this right? I hope that's right. Let's check. Yeah, I think that's right, that does something anyway, let's go see what it did. So now we can hop over here. We can hop over here, and we're actually going to need to put it somewhere else to get to the champion, but now we can at least battle her. And what is she going to have? Green hair, apparently, but she's also going to have two Pokemon, the first one being, uh, you guessed it, another Dragonair. So many Dragonairs, you would think they'd include some Hoenn Pokemon. But, now we can just keep spamming the Icy Wind, we get the speed drop, uh, Dragon Rage, she only got one off, so it's okay, and now, she has another Shell gone, so I guess that's not true, they do have some of those Pokemon, we actually get a crit there, which is nice, and now, I'm actually going to heal up and then position that boulder properly, so once again, I will return when we uh, have the boulder in the right place and we can face the gym leader. Okay, with those three boulders done, I believe we only have one more and I actually fought the trainer you have to battle to get to it. Uh, he had an Altaria and something else. For this boulder, you're going to want to go up to the top because you're going to be moving it to the bottom gap, I found out after some testing. And if we move it down here and down here, that is the last one we have to deal with. So now, we can go across these two. It really doesn't look like you can navigate them, but you can. Go over here, and across here, and now we are sitting in front of Claire. I got skulls in front because obviously, you know, icy wind and all that. Uh, I guess I should have Joltru and Fungash kind of in the wings, as they could potentially be helpful. Uh, Sensor is also pretty bulky, so there you go. I'm Claire. I'm the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a trainer, I will use my full power against any opponent. So the last gym leader of this Let's Play is Claire. She's going to have four Pokemon, the first one being the ever-predictable Dragonair. Skulls, of course, is going to go first, 
And this thing actually has flamethrower, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, she, yeah, is definitely going to use the hyper potion. We keep lowering that speed, which is great, and we actually get paralyzed, which doesn't matter all that much. I am actually going to switch out and kind of fodder off Sid Widow uh, as she goes into Shell Gun, just so I can use a full restore on uh, Skulls here, because I want her to be fighting fit. Dragon Claw doesn't bother me, and now we can go back into Skulls. No harm, no foul. Double team, not that big deal. That's a 2 8 KO. Oh, or, or I thought it was. Dang it. Oh well. A 3 hit KO. A close 3 hit KO. Oh, and actually I had a person berry, so great. Thanks for raising my attack quite a lot. Kingdra is her third Pokemon. I'm actually going to. Should I switch out? I'm actually going to stay in because he swaggered me. Let's go for the uh, Shadow Punch. That didn't do much. I'm going to heal up. Yeah, let's heal up. Dragon Breath, go for another uh, Shadow Punch. Went for the rest, that's not a big deal. Ah, stop resting! Ah, yes! And we take it out. There we go, Skulls is going to grow a level, and Flygon! There's the third gen Pokemon, along with Shogun. Flygon level 53. I promise you guys that for the uh, next Let's Play, I'm going to try to do... I really do want to... You've got to be kidding me, you got two Protects in a row. I am going to really try and do uh, sidebars and stuff so you can see what the Gym Leader's Pokemon has. Or what the Gym Leader's Pokemon's movesets are, what items they carry, and all that junk. And we finally beat Claire. We actually took her Flygon out pretty easily. I think her biggest, most annoying Pokemon was Dragon uh, Kingdra. Pardon me. Uh, I'm lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. And then we get money. So she pays me, but she still doesn't believe it. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know, you should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. Go and bring me the Dragon Fang from deep inside the den. That is the test to be accepted as a true Dragon User. If you can do that, I will accept you as a worthy trainer. Until then, I won't give you a badge. So, what a huge jerk. Not even giving me a badge. Um, let's just go across this place. I don't really want to make y'all watch me heal up again, so I'll be back after I've healed up my Pokemon. Alright, while I was healing up my Pokemon, I put Sidwood back in the box, and I picked up our Red Gyarados with a horrible nature, and I taught it three TMs. I taught it Surf, Waterfall, and uh, Strength, and that way I don't have to teach any of that to my normal Pokemon, and I can just Surf along, even though since I already knew Surf, uh, let's put up a Super Repel here. Or something. Yeah, Super Bow. And now we can go along here. We're already surfing pretty fast, so I don't even really need to speed up. That old man is gone, and now we can enter the Dragon's Den. I don't know why it looks like a forest in the little thing right there, but oh well. Go through here. Is there anything to the side? Yes, there are trainers. Um, I don't really want to put Skulls up front. Skulls is doing pretty well. Let's, uh actually put fungus in front and see what this guy has to say we are the three dragon masters if you are strong enough to defeat us we will reward you with a prize on guard didn't expect that really so dragon tamer air at excuse me gazoon height to you so he has an altaria definitely gonna wanna switch into that or switch out of that i don't know why i switched into censored though so let's go into Skulls, that was a misclick. And Takedown doesn't even affect us, so that'll be a 2 at KO, you went for that Dragon Dance a little late, and Errat is defeated. Let's go over here and see if there's another one. Uh, there's not, is there a hidden item anywhere? No, I guess not. How about if we go back to where that guy was and then surf over here? Any hidden items or anything? Hello? Hidden items? And you know what else? Are you listening to the music? That is the Safari Zone music. Well, not that. But this. Da, 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 da. There's another one. Let's go ahead and take him on. His name is Dragon Tamer Gone. Erat and Gone. Interesting. And he has a very beastly Pokemon, a Salamence. 
Let us switch over to Skulls real quick. Dragon Breath. Oh, and he gets the Paralysis. Ouch. Let's go for the Hyper Potion. Uh, let's just skip that and go for the Icy Wind. Uh, stop using Fly. You're a jerk. Uh, Hyper Potion. And while he's doing that, we'll go for the Parlis Heal. Fly didn't do all that much. Icy Wind. Stop protecting. Ha! And he goes for the Fly again. That doesn't take me out, thankfully. And he is defeated. Now, I actually need to go get the, T the HM for Waterfall, as you see over there. So I will be back once again. And I will properly have taught that to our Red Gyarados. And then we continue finding the third uh, Dragon Tamer Master or whatever. And we can continue on with the challenge. So after a bit of research, I figured out that you don't actually get the HM for Whirlpool in Shiny Gold X. After you defeat the Rockets in Mahogany Town, Lance will give you a Clam Pearl that knows the move Whirlpool, and I just happen to have that Clam Pearl in my party with me, so... It's a vicious Whirlpool. I want to use Whirlpool. Clam Pearl sure does. And now we can get by it. So, that's how you do that. Uh, let's skip over this Pokemon here. See, there's no way to enter here. We can go behind here, though, and look who it is. The third Dragon Master. And they all say on guard, apparently. Or at least the first two, the first and third guy did. I don't know about the second. There's Bravo. So we've had Eret, Gone, and Bravo. And I still don't know why I have Frungush in front, probably just to get experience. Let's go into Skulls. Give it that Icy Wind. It's still faster than me, and we missed, but... Oh well, we still take it out. Fangash grows a level, so does Skulls, and Bravo's defeated. You defeated all of us. Very impressive. As we promised, here's your reward. A water stone? Really? That's it? Ugh, fine. So, uh, we get a water stone from them. Good for us. Let's see what's over here. There's a Pokeball right here. It's a Dragon Fang. And look who it is. Alright, I recognize your true power. Just because we found a dragon fang? Or maybe she was just pissy and then she came back and she was like, Oh, well, I better give him his gym badge. Rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls, aka waterfall. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. I also want you to have this TM. We get TM24, which is going to contain dragon breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. Jeez, if you don't want it, you don't have to take it. I didn't say anything! Alright, and now she's going to tell us to go back to New Bark Town, surf east, and then we'll be going to the Pokemon League. So that's just what we're going to do. Um, but not in this episode. I think we're going to end it off here. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Shiny Gold X, we will be returning to our hometown of New Bark, and then we will be... As Claire said, surfing east to get to Indigo Plateau slash Victory Road. So, thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. Question of the day. Uh, good question. Uh, um, uh, how about, what is your favorite character sprite in any of the generations? Uh, some people might prefer, you know, the newer, more up-to-date sprites. Uh, some people might like the original red, blue, yellow sprites. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I kind of like the hat on this one. Uh, I don't kind of like the fact that his backpack doesn't look like a backpack. It kind of looks like overalls. But, oh well. Uh, go back and look at all the sprites if you want of the players that you can play as. It can be the boy or the girl. And tell me which one you like the best in the comments. As well as any other comments you had about this video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.